guy has been in? How many times have we seen this guy? Too many times. The Red Menace needs to get out of here. Necropos picked up first. We've been seeing this a lot, even from Complexity themselves. So very excited to see the counter picks, man. This is a little scary, though, right? Because they picked up the Necrophos the other day, um, and that's going to be Snaking playing that. And he got totally shut down in the lane. They actually managed to pick up, what was it, the Nyx Assassin and the Marana. Marana's already been banned out, though, on the side of Complexity. I'm sure they don't want to see that hero anytime soon. Uh, so they don't have that set up for, you know, they won't have the impale into arrow obviously but like it was just a very difficult lane for snake i think he died in the laning phase uh i want to say six to eight times yowza that ain't good <clears throat> it was uh really rough there's and tony but yeah continue sorry yeah well no there there is <laughs> there's the rock there's a the rock man you know he's really really strong right now that is a whisper tiny so keep your eyes on that because that guy's gonna be making plays like you wouldn't believe that's whisper tiny right there. that's whisper tiny Woo! Whisper. 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 Hey, you're a vocal coach, right, Mox? I am. Do you have to get vocal training to do ASMR? Mm, I, I know a lot of people don't. <laughs> I know. A lot of people just go for it. because. Have you ever trained someone for ASMR? No, I have not. Oh. <laughs> Silencer coming out here. I've seen this uh, played a lot, especially against the Necro. Kind of stops all those combos from those big magic playmakers. But uh, we've seen t Silencer fail about as many times as we've seen him succeed. What's the weirdest thing you've ever trained a, a voice for? Um, I don't have anything that's that weird, but one of the coolest things was I had this, like, I had uh, this guy show up, and he was, like, 72 years old. 72. 72, and he's like, hey, I want to be in a rock band because I saw this, like, thing on the, like, on the news about this man who retired, and he made a rock band with his friends, and he's like, I want to do that. And I was like, that's super cool. Guy had a voice like a chainsaw because yeah. he worked in a steel mill. Is that so, a good thing or a bad thing for a rock band? It's probably a good thing, but boy, ooh, you could hear just, it was, it was rough and very ragged sounding because of all the, uh, all the cigarettes that he smoked, too. The main ooh. question then, did he succeed? He did, and ah. boy, did he do a great job with that band. Nice. Cool. That's Boxy, actually, I'm right. asking for a friend, but ha what are some strategies for making your voice go lower? Going lower? <laughs> you can smoke cigars. <laughs> oh. A healthy option. What is a healthy a option? A healthy option. I mean, you just, you, you can train. You just stretch your voice out a little bit at a time. You have to do it gradually because you don't want to hurt yourself. What but. do you do? Uh, it's like different vocal warm-ups. Different vocal warm-ups, technical thing. Give us a sample. Why would I give you a sample here right now? I don't know. You have to pay for that, Slacks. I do? Yeah. Okay, I thought we were friends. <laughs> friends. Well, you thought wrong. I there. was gonna try to get you exposure as a vocal coach. As, as singing as a bass <laughs> in the Dream League, all of a sudden <clears throat> unprepared. Choosing beggars. How do you? Oh. <laughs> that's that's not, not how you. Do. You just sound like a dog who's very upset. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know what stretch. All right. All right, we'll talk Phoenix. later. We'll talk later. Phoenix has picked up. Uh, see this hero. A ton magical damage coming out here. But what do you always say? You always say the same thing to me, Sheever. I see a Phoenix. I want to catch. I love it. That's what you always say. What up, Sheaves? The Ben of Nix Assassin and Juggernaut are both heroes are really good against a bad rider. Does that mean that Complexity wants to pick up a bad rider? Oh, oh, oh. oh. No. No? No, they have a Necrophos. But they can put a mid. They could. I don't like it, but they could. This is as low as I can talk. <laughs> can I talk lower than you? I think we can Let's all talk lower than Slacks. Go ahead, Sheever. I can talk very low. I this is, me. yeah. Get Rex Slacks. Get Rex Slacks. Let's do this draft. <laughs> Infamous Larry. versus Complexity. Lena and Terrorblade banned out by Infamous. Right, right. you literally, literally sound, sound more, more like, like a dude than I do. <laughs> <laughs> One minute. <gasps> Production's helping me. <laughs> hey, guys. My name is Frank. <laughs> And I'm a big man. <laughs> I got muscles. I work in the steel mill. <coughs> and I got a lot of emotions <laughs> under my hard exterior. <laughs> my name's Gyro <laughs> <laughs> You know what also helps? Getting a cold. Yes, getting a cold helps a lot. Ah, mm -hmm. My voice, voice just shuts shut. down when I get a cold. <laughs> Does it still have a voice changer on? No. Oh, no. Cool. No. 
that's hey, just okay. your own Anyways, voice, Jake. So we're waiting for you guys might, you know, be annoyed that we're not talking about too much here. But to be honest with you, these are very normal opens that we've seen a lot this tournament. We've seen a lot of Necrophos Phoenix or something to that regard with a massive amount of magical damage. We've seen Tiny to be able to pierce the back lines. And we've picked Silencer to uh, counter that Phoenix and those magical follow-ups. Uh, this patch seems to be very much focused around those big mid-game team fights and those insurance policies like Phantom Lancer or Terror Blade to ensure the late game. So here we are again, PL being picked up. We got a cat daddy. A what? A cat daddy? <laughs> he I looks don't... a little bit like a cat. He is a cat. Well, he literally is literally a cat. Literally is a cat. But I don't know about the daddy part. He's a fisherman. Oh, from Did you say uh, fishermen's can't be daddies? Well, no, he, uh, in case you missed the song, their only love is the sea. Uh, oh, Brandy, you're a fine girl. But anyways, <laughs> yeah, we do see that Tomato's Juggernaut was actually banned out. He uh, did very well in this hero. That's the issue, right? A lot of people have mentioned it now. I believe Fogged and Tomato both mentioned that, you know, Tomato's a great core, but the issue tends to end up being that he farms too much. He doesn't get engaged enough with his team early, or they'll take these really fantastic fights early on they'll win their laning but then they just kind of start to spread apart and go off and farm and they don't take objectives and the game gets out of their hands so i'm not you know we do have the phantom lancer that'll be interesting to watch i hope that he's very active with this hero i know it's going to take a little time for him to get online so we're going to have to rely on whisper tiny to make a lot of these plays make that space but then also you know what's the pepita hero or is the phantom lancer a pepita hero we don't know yet hmm Time will tell. They're taking a lot of time, though. Both teams have taken a lot of time in the draft so far. Time is of the essence to spend. Yeah, hell yeah! Ooh, Z Freak Disruptor. I really like this pick. I've always been a fan of Disruptor. Great for, uh, you know, not so good when Tiny jumps you and he does his combo because you're dead anyway. You don't want to glimpse him, but picking out a PL in the static store. Feels good, man. It's also exactly what we said that they should be doing, because we're going to assume that Phoenix and Disruptor are the two two supports, and whether it be Envy or or Z Freak on either of them, it's at least a support that we know Z Freak can be shining on. Doesn't matter which of the two he gets. Exactly, it's a playmaker. It's a playmaker, which is yeah. uh, what Z Freak does best. We're going to see your Shaker coming out here. Interesting pick there. Are they uh, hoping to uh, counter some? Some big bat rider or something like Shiver was saying, or are they just preparing themselves for, you know. Well, they need more team fight, right? Team you look fight, at a lot of yeah. this. You've got Tiny, who's great for pickoff yeah. silence. He's got that global silence, which is nice, but they could use a little bit more. And of course, the big hero that's been popular yeah, is so the Phoenix. The Phoenix, also Winter Wyvern. Uh, in this case, we don't have anything on board right now that really makes Winter Wyvern a fantastic pick. But uh, the Earthshaker definitely, you know, provides more lockdown, which is very important because they're a little light on that. They have that silencer, uh, most likely going to be run as a five. So, and also that's a Schofield Earthshaker, which makes me very happy. Why is that? Because Schofield is really good on these heroes that can make things happen. Um, one of his best heroes is actually Clockwork, and I think I was actually casting with uh, Bulldog on that game. But he was saying, you know, oh, it's it all comes down to the hook shot. And, you know, he was, like, totally, like, razzing on me the whole time. He's like, oh, I missed another one. Moxie is terrible, blah, 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 blah. But you know what? When it came down to it, in those fights, he was in there with the power cog, split the fights in half, was able to get nice pickoffs with the battery assault. And you know what our shaker does really well? What's that? Splits up fights, especially, you know, during laning phase, yes. making sure that you cut off everyone else. But, yes. uh, oh, baby. Yeah. Talked about team fight. Magnus Phoenix, love this combo. Every time that they try to go for the egg, they gotta worry about it. However, uh, Infamous was being pretty smart. They already got the silencer on board a long time ago. So, Shiva, do you think that's a little arrogant? I mean, they, they don't have the ability to really combo well with this team anymore unless they pick out the silencer first. I mean, it all depends on that last hero because you can make all the plays you want. You can stop the silencer from doing things if you silence them first, perhaps, with the disruptor. But if you don't have any follow-up damage coming out from Complexity, you're going to be a little bit in a sad position there. I kind of, I like Infamous's draft coming into this series. I mean, we didn't really talk about it, but I, I would favor Complexity over Infamous. Yeah. Um, but I, at the moment, I like Infamous's draft a little bit better. So I'm a little bit torn on that, and I, I don't know what both teams need to be able to, to fully succeed and execute their game plan. I think for Complexity, their game plan is a little bit more obvious than for Infamous. That is true. Are we going to see a DK picked up for Complexity? They need someone to hit towers, and they're going... 
you know, that the the empower on the DK could be really good here, plus another lockdown stun. Sure. They need someone to hit buildings, though. Right now, they are so much magical, and that was a huge problem. That uh, Was it Complexity that had that same issue before, where they just they worked around it? They made sure that they bought themselves the uh, BKBs, the hoods, the pipes, and they just yeah. couldn't do anything. That's a little scary right now, because we do have good physical damage coming out from the side of Infamous. We'll take a while for it to come online. They ban out the Bloodseeker. If uh, previous games have taught us anything, it's having a late game insurance policy is pretty good. Yeah. So I would like something for complexity that can also be just that. Yep. Tower push and late game insurance sounds pretty good to me. We haven't seen Dragon Eye really fill that role of the hyper late game uh, carry so far in Dream League, but it certainly has that potential. But the issue then becomes, like, who's going to be moving around and making the space? Like, if they pick something, you know, like, we talked about having a late game sort of hard carry. If they pick something like a Spectre, they're going to get run over. Absolutely. You do not want to pick Spectre. No. So what's the, what's the choice here that, that's going to allow them to hit buildings, that's going to allow them to carry them into the late game, but also be active during, you know, the mid game when this Phantom Lancer and Tiny are just destroying? It's going to be a monkey, monkey. king. All right. Uh, uh, it's not really yeah. a tower hitter. I love Complexity's lineup if there wasn't a silencer. Imagine getting caught in any one of these skills yeah. and then getting that massive follow-up. Oh, that's silencer's tinker. job. A tinky winky. Let's a tonker. I think that they got a lot of ways to scout out a tinker, though. Monkey king is great at it. Disruptor yeah. is pretty okay. Hmm. But... Oh. This is a this is a tough one, Moxie. Mm -hmm. You're you're up first. Um, I'm liking I'm liking what Infamous has put down on the table there. I mean, like Slack said, you know, they can try to find that Tinker, mm -hmm. but uh, they don't really have the greatest way to kind of mess with him in that mid lane, right? Because that's the whole point. You want to slow down Tinker. You want to make sure he doesn't get the boots to travel online too quickly. So you know, you've got a disruptor who can kind of wander off, but he's really kind of needed too to be staying in that lane. So I think Tinker is going to have a pretty good lane here, um, which is going to open the doors for everything else. You know, Whisper has his tiny. That is a hero. He's excited on and um yeah i mean complexity's draft is just i don't know i'm not i'm not 100 percent sold on it just because they don't really have a great way they can take great fights so infamous for you they've got yeah they've got to hit uh they've got to have someone hit the towers all right yep. jake i'm agreeing with moxie on a lot of points here i feel like they have a great team fight but they uh don't uh, silencers in there to stop it so i will say though i still think complexity is going to take it because tiny needs to do a lot of work and complexity is very knowledgeable about tiny mm. we see them play it all the time so i think they'll be able to avoid that disruptor will do great so i'm going to go with complexity i'm torn but I'm going to side with Moxie on this one. I think Infamous is one to draft. Maybe Complexity can out-execute Infamous, but we're going to find out. You know what? You know, you're, I'm sure you're sick and tired of listening to us three. No. And uh, it's time for you to get hit by some amazing knowledge bombs. Our following cast is going to be full of that. It is Kyle and Bulldog. Yeah! Woo! Hello, hello, hello. Uh, welcome to a Dream League lower bracket match between Complexity Gaming and Infamous. And while they got the camera off, I was ASAP. Thank you. You think that was me or you? Probably you. I mean, I'm here for the looks. That's true. I think and we I'm the knowledge bombs, then. Yeah, I don't really know what I'm talking about anymore. So, yeah, this is going to be an interesting, uh, interesting uh, series here. Complexity, I would say probably the stronger team here. But they got a Monkey King, and we... Uh, See this here kind of being underwhelming a lot of games. Well, they did pair it with the mag, like uh, I think RNG did in that game they won, that 90-minute slugfest the other day. But <laughs> it was an offlane mag. This is a mid-mag. What are your feelings on that? I like mid-mag. That hero is uh, underrated as a laner. You have massive base damage. You can see it not easily, but he is against a Tinker. And Tinker is always one of the more annoying heroes you can lane against. Yeah, I felt like the panel had a good point. I don't see much complexity has to deal with the Pepita Tinker. And I also consider him the star of Infamous, and he is a relatively free game open. They're gonna force the Q from the Eternal Envy Phoenix. It's a nice start. Yeah, and uh, yeah, that's, this Tinker is, uh, it's just one of those heroes that if you go late and you just get caught out once, you can just end the game. It's always, uh, you need to have uh, your best player on that guy. 
And you don't want to throw in. They have decent catch on complexity. They got Monk, you can catch him, but it's... And Mag, like, you can just commit that RP and kill him. Yeah, the battery is going to be split two to two. Nothing special happening in either side. Uh, top lane looks like it'll be the PL up here with the Earthshaker. Not the strongest lane, especially against the Monkey King. You never want two melee against the safe lane. No, no, definitely not. But, uh, you know, you think that Monkey King is, like, amazing against melee, but he's... Uh, maybe when it was released, he was, like, this insanely broken hero. But now, the lifestyle is not that good. Uh, because you're playing against Peel as well, because he's got very high armor. Still, obviously, a favorite matchup. And they got the Disruptor, who's also fairly okay in the lane. Uh, Bottom, we're gonna have Phoenix Silencer, or sorry, Silencer Tiny versus Phoenix Necro. I would favor the Phoenix Necro lane pretty heavily, I think. Also, wow, I, I was wrong. It's a Tomato Tinker. I don't know if I feel as confident in that one. I feel like Pepita's been playing on point this entire tournament. Yeah, we're seeing uh, Timato just doing that a little bit much of uh, not knowing when to join fights. Oh, wait, no. What? Tomato? Wait, are you baiting me? Is that Whisper? Whisper? That's Whisper on the Tinker? He's the raw cleaner. Yeah. But that guy's been playing amazingly this tournament, though. I think you maybe feel like Papita, but I think Whisper's been a boss, so... That's and a good point. Yeah, Fong was talking about that earlier. He said he was playing with him in a couple of pubs before this tournament, too, and he's a big fan. I'm surprised, though. That's a big change. They, he, he's played off lane every game at this tournament. They come into this match against Complexity, obviously prepared, and they swap around all of their roles to make the Whisper Tinker happen. Yeah, and we see how that works out. The guy's losing middle. But Tinker, clearly just stick to your own role. It's what a early. newbie. You never know. Even your career didn't start out that great in the off lane, Bulldog. Uh, it could be like four months to win a TI. That's right. Don't forget that. Yeah. Down bottom is Heavy Harass, South Forced on the Tiny, Illusion Rune to spawn bottom, that's not really relevant to either side. Mid, as you said, Limp doing quite well, 11 and 1, soon to be 12 and 1. Up against the Tinkers, 8 and 0, and he's going to go grab that Illusion Rune with his fresh bottle. That's a huge pickup because you're forced to go the Shockwave build because you can't play against the blind of Tinker with the preferred, like, Empower, aggressive style, and now he's going to be able to just get a few more free ones off. Easy CS, top lane. Yeah, and uh, you did play with Limp, didn't you? I did, for a long time. Like two yeah. years in Han and uh, two and a half years in Dota. And how good is he? He's pretty good. Pretty uh, good? Pretty good. He's like rank one. That's true, but like... What are his flaws as a player? Uh, I think he's improved upon them over the summer because he took like some time, you know, got his head straight and repro uh, approaches the game now with like renewed vigor, but I think he has a tendency to tilt in games that he's behind, and he doesn't understand the map and its complexities the same way that the tier one elite mids play. Like, they, he, he, he can make, like, weird mistakes that you just wouldn't see a miracle. And oh, nice picture. Talking about mistakes, Envy going down, first blood, and the tip coming out instantly. You well know? by Pepita. Yeah, that's very easy, and, uh, yeah, what do we got here? We've seen uh, Snake him playing this Necro like every game, pretty much. You surely, you sure as hell like that hero. And they decided to go a tri lane bottom, rotate, which is working out. Oh, field. Nice block again. Snake is in oh, trouble. Minus He's no, two. He doesn't have Ghost Shroud. Oh! Oh, that was not good, or was it? Snaking? He's baiting. Oh. Nice. Well played as well. Envy gives him the kill, so now Envy's gonna get a heal up almost to full thanks to the last hit on the silencer. Well played down the bottom lane. Top, Disruptor in trouble. Z Freak lands the kinetic field. He's gonna get away, forces the Doppel away. And PL will retreat. Tomato having a very hard time as expected. 11 CS, mm. Monkey King already has 13 denies. So certainly not a pleasant location for our, monkey, or for our PL rather. Now this is what happens when you rotate bottom with your sport. Oh, okay, Snaking, that's another int. Four int already. I've been rotating the Earthshaker bottom. Is he supposed to skip Ghost Shroud in this lane? Uh, I'm not sure. I mean, he's on level three. I'm sure he's going to skill at four, but I guess it would have saved him there. Yeah, go figure. But yeah, this peel is uh, definitely struggling now. Let's see if we can get a little bit of trouble. He's not getting any farm. Yeah. I mean, he's alone now. They're tri-laning, but this is an off-lane Phantom Lancer. Yeah. 
against the Monkey King. That's very troublesome. And the runes, here we go. At least Peel's gonna get the top runes. Beautiful play. Andy, to the low ground. Papita really wanted to be able to bottle one of those bounty runes, but... Oh, wait, no, sorry. They actually passed the bottle off to Schofield, but he was out fast fingered by snaking at the rune. They have a shrine, however. Gonna be value as all three heroes will be able to heal up to full. Gembalu, the new star, perplexing mid lane though, they find Tinker, RP used, thanks to the Arcane Rune, he's gonna try and get the port off, will he be able to do it in time? No, he gets glimpsed, and the final shockwave from Limp to finish the kill. There you go, putting the offlaner in the mid. To be able to do that, you need to have an excellent offlaner. To be very good at it, I played mid a few times. Granted, that was only with Lone Druid, I always won. You won your lane every single time? Yeah. Did you ever win your lane playing mid? A couple times. Then they started banning the... They, this is the thing. I made a mistake. In TI5, I could only play two heroes. And they were banned every game, SF Flesh. If I had the third hero, I would have been unstoppable. Yeah. The respect bans for your mids is understandable. Yep. What was your third hero? I played a lot of heroes. I had like 10 hero pull. All right, but what was like the third though? Probably Brood. When he was viable and in the meta. No. If it wasn't, then I was useless, because I got banned. That's well, okay. And for some reason, they added a third ban now, and Ice Frog. I, I think that's a good thing. Not for me. Well, that's why you're retired, though, so it's fine. Yeah, I timed it. I mean, you wouldn't need any bans at all if the game was balanced. That's true. But it would remove a lot of the strategy, I would say. Not if the game was balanced. Uh, I, I guess. I mean, what if you just picked five in a row and then swapped? Yeah. yeah. And okay. So we talked about him having 11 C CS uh, like three minutes ago, and he's got one CS since then. That is troublesome. Oh, no. And now he's also going to die. The Jukes? What do you do now? Team? What do you do on this PL? I don't think you do anything. I think you just feed. He, he was doing what I would expect is the right move, which is pull the creep wave, because. As you said, you can't lane against the Monkey King. He's up. Skipper Lewis, 30 denies. Not only is that going to be denying the PL experience in farm, but bear in mind that he effectively gets an extra 7.5 creeps of experience thanks to all those denies. That's two extra creep waves. This, P this Monkey King's ahead. And he still keeps running top. Where else is he supposed to go? I'd just take the bot lane and steal it from him. Well, where would Pepita go then? I just, just send him into the jungle. All right, that works. Well, it doesn't really work, but yeah, we're just seeing the peel hitting jungle. Peel, uh, maybe if he had uh, the Magnus on his team, he'd be fine, but it's gonna be rough for him to form up this game. The baits. Moose in some trouble. Here comes Envy. Oh, nice. Fisher to catch the leap from Envy. Moose probably gonna be able to go down here, but. The Shaker is... Wow, he's still alive. Envy. Is he going to survive? Minus two. Oh. oh didn't. So close. Pepita will be able to assist. Chucks Schofield onto Eternal Envy, ensures that they land that kill. But the main concern is this Monkey King, who's not only having a completely free game, but as you said, he has him power. He can go over this incredibly aggressive build, probably like a, a Shadowblade Echo BKB, perhaps, and utilize the cleave from Limp all game. You don't even need a Battle Fury to own. Double damage. He hits hard. Will he commit to RP? I would. He wouldn't. Yeah, I would agree. I think if you make that play, you just got to be, be confident, take the kill. But... Instead, they are just going to force a rotation. In the meantime, Whisper heading off to the jungle. Surprising, considering that mid lane is still vacant. Do you and think that the Tinker uh, rearm should be able to utilize regular TPs? Seems like a very silly mechanic. The hero would be pretty bad if he couldn't, I think. Like, uh, it is pretty annoying here, though, so I wouldn't mind if he just got nerfed to the ground. And uh, the peel yet again. Like I think this is a key thing in the game right now. He is struggling, and even Tinker is taking his jungle, so he's about to run to the jungle. Nothing there. Lisa's is going to pick up the runes. Oh, it's 20 seconds, actually. So he's like, oh, there's no creeps here, guys. Question is, can Infamous create space for him, for him to come back? Nice, nice question. See, they're going to land that kill on Pepita. Right. Snaking picks it up as well, so we'll get a nice heal to full.
Yeah, this Tiny cannot be dying. Like, he needs to be creating space for PL, and the same with Tinker. So if they're losing their lanes, this game is going to be very, very hard. That's another free kill on Schofield. Is that worth the rune? It's a rune. Now, you you are the one yes. who stresses bounty more than anyone else. But he just died. I've done the maths, and it actually checks out. It does check out. It's like 500 net worth difference. Okay. So at what, worth it. at what point does getting a bounty room not worth your death? Have you done that math? Or is it always worth your death? Kids at home really need to know this information. Yes. If you're a carry, still do it. Die for the runes. For your team. Dota is really important. It's not about you. It's about your team. Mm. You want to win? You got to think about your team. Do it. Every time. Okay. Even if you're done a buyback at 80 minutes, do it. Okay. Well, thank you. That's good to know. You know, you should, have you considered giving coaching lessons? Yeah, I do it. But it's 1,000 per hour, so no one has done it yet. Okay. Right. Euros or USD? Uh, Euros. Oh, that's... I'm sure I mean, someone will do it soon. Yeah, I think it might be worth it. Schofield in a no man's land getting killed out under the tower. Looks like he got skewered back after that RP from Limp, who's going to be going that Treads Blink build after the maximum power. Skemberloo still skyrocketing to the top of net worth charts. Now nearly actually achieving double Tomato's net worth. Not a place you want to be as a Phantom Lancer. And we see him struggling here in the jungle. Is he going to die? It's close. What a player. Yeah, he really out, out, out foxed that Satter creep. We're gonna see a complexity. He's probably should be aware of the situation this game. Just keep playing aggressive. Don't let this peel back. Oh, the egg comes out. Eternal Envy. Making sure that he doesn't go down to the rotation of the silencer. And also now has another round of spells to chase away. I'm not gonna question Envy. I wouldn't either. However, I am happy to see that he, uh, of course, is still drafting for complexity. Snaking did draft for the first two days. Envy drafted yesterday and again today. They gave Z Freak a hero with um, a purpose. He's playing Disruptor. He can find kills. And so far, he's been successful. Present for four out of the eight. A few couple nice rotations. You see Snaking just a lone down bottom. And this is what's so nice about Necro, is that not only can you lane anywhere, but when you're left in the offlane by yourself, you actually have a game. And as you can see, PL, not in the off lane very often for a reason, because if you're ever forced to abandon the lane, uh, you feel pretty miserable. You can't stay there by yourself. This is an Invis Mag, RP in 10. Scanning. Yeah, there should just be two kills with the Monkey King here as well, with them power, max and power. He doesn't want to skew her in here, because then he'll react to it. Oh, oh, he wants that tiny. Priorities. Oh, there's a Tinker. He goes for it, easy. Uh, I mean, that works out, I guess. Fine. A little bit of overkill, but you know what? Complexity is fine with that. Tinker does finish up the bots, but all he's really going to be able to do is shove side lanes, and they're going to plant this Necro with the hood there to just shove it back at him. As you said at the start, there isn't too much reach to get on top of this Tinker. I feel like it's really the PL's game that's going to dictate whether or not Infamous can win, and as we can all see, he is, he is riding the struggle bus right now. Yep. Yeah. And uh, even if it goes late, Kim, Complexity's got damn power. And uh, I'm sure that uh, Zed Freak will get that axe at some point. He's, uh, even though he's playing five, he usually gets some items. And we're getting a bug here. Scam? Where is he? Scam? Another Plosk? Looks like Papita resumed the game. Very BM. I mean, they complexity probably said go, but I didn't see that. So let's just assume it was BM. Yeah. Let's Papita is. Uh, he can be him because if you don't want to, you don't want to call him out. Yeah, he, dude's pretty, pretty big and strong. Would you call Papita out? No, I wouldn't. You see him right there. It's like a head over everyone else. That's true. And being big and tall and all that, it's, it's very useful in life. Must be pretty nice. Yeah, gets you all the women. It's pretty intimidating, you know, you walk around Sweden and everyone's like really attractive and like 190 centimeters tall. Yeah, I wouldn't know. Yeah. I can't, ex I don't have that experience myself. What, walking around the street or yeah. being attractive? Yeah, attractive. Oh. But it's okay. 
I'm rich, so it helps. That does. Yeah, we're getting this pass right now. What's going on here? Envy, rehydrating. It's very important to stay hydrated. Very important. Do you have one of those hydration bots on your channel, like reminding you to drink water? I did have minutes? it, but he was so annoying that I perma-banned him. Oh. Wow. He spammed every every hour, so I got so mad about it that I perma-banned him. I see. Did you drink? Do you drink water though? No. Oh. No, I drink uh, Monster, because Monster is mainly water. You know. Yeah, that's true. Primarily I'd, water. I'd say I think all liquids are primarily water. So realistically, as long as you're drinking something, it's probably yeah. fine. Even uh, food is primarily water. A lot of them. It's very true. Yeah, Pepita going to be closing on the Blink Dagger. They'll need that to be able to try and make some plays. Surprisingly, I, do you feel like Skemmerly should be further ahead, or is it just too difficult to accelerate in the early game on a Monkey King? Because he had a great laning phase, but still only a 1,000 or so ahead of the Tinker. I think he's doing fine. They're bringing in uh, the stacked Ancient now, so he's going to get there soon and kill that, I'm sure. So that's when he's really going to excel. And the Tinker is actually really fun this game. Yeah. So the question remains uh, complexity. They obviously are pretty good position, so they just want to keep the pressure up. But pushing high ground against Tinker is always a nightmare. So the question is, it, it doesn't really matter, though, because they're just going to get map control, get free Roche, and they kind of just sit in base, Infamous, and uh, farm it out and get Peel super strong. I don't think so. Yep. I think uh, it's going to be important for Cold to take some towers, though. One of my general rule is whenever you play against Tinker, you want to be sure to take at least two Tier 1s by the 12-minute mark. Obviously, it's 14 minutes in. Complexity, not only have they not taken a tower, they haven't really touched one. So, I feel like that's something they need to prioritize here. You've got the egg, you've got RP, a Blink Dagger up on limp. I want to see them make a move and, and try and make something happen around the map. The Ancient stack on Monkey, can we look at that? I think that's the most important part. Look at the Monkey King, please. Please. Yeah, up and to the right. In the Ancients. Right, you gotta get up. Oh. Uh, no, up, up. Oh, up. you missed it. Who is this Observer? Is that Vapas? I think both observers are, are observing at all times. I can I can get you fired, just so you know that. I don't know if that's true, Bulldog. You could try, though. It would be entertaining. You could write a letter like Flex did. If yeah. you petition the community, I believe if you earn Reddit's trust, they're actually capable of, of, making, of making that happen. Yeah. We got the dagger now. Envy's in trouble. Is he gonna die? And yes, he probably will. The global silence, and yeah, there we go. The counter initiation with Magnus. He's also got dagger. He used it already, though. Now he's catching a silence. You see Shaker approaching. Skemberloo in a very troublesome position. If they find him, they ping him out. They know he's there, but the Monkey King ult will come out. Oh, delay that. Schofield. Dagger. Nice glimpse. Finishes. This is a concern, though. Complexity, with the exception of that glimpse, has no real method of finding pickoffs, and they're all in on the team fight. Skemberloo and Limp, to an extent, really need a BKB to enter these fights. Tinker does so much damage already, and he doesn't even have Aether Lens, Kaya Ags, none of that. It's just blink Radiant bots at the moment. Tower is under attack. Yeah, and uh, the peel is coming back slowly but surely. Very slowly. He's like the little engine that could but we don't know if he could or not yet. He's still huffing and puffing up the hill. And as you mentioned, Complexity really want to get those towers, just make this map smaller for for Tinker and PL, but it's it's still hard. They should just commit the, the RP and just kill a hero every time. I think they will need to save a team fight. I don't think Infamous wants to take team fights. I mean, the thing is, they've been sitting, uh, when we last talked about towers, they were 4,000 gold ahead, and they still are. Actually, just dropped to three. Or was that Incre five? five. Increased to five. I and need glasses. Met. Yeah, sorry. I don't have insurance, so I can't really afford them. Do you actually, do you think you could buy me a pair of glasses while I'm in Sweden? No. No. Oh. No, I don't want I don't oh. want to. It was worth a try. Um, up top, they're going to push this top complexity tower. Dire tier one in trouble, but as you can see, Skemberloo, again, farming ancients. Look at that. They even got a little picture in picture to ensure we don't Thank miss Thank you. But that's only a two stack. I just want to see the four stack. And here we go. Envy in position. The RP is not needing it. The glimpse on the tiny. Uh, Peter, but here comes Spam Tinker Rockets coming out. Envy, Envy in a trouble. He's going to pop the egg. He should be OK. Papita on the retreat. Earn charge. Egg, oh. will it be enough? Yes, it will. That last tick will kill him off. And this Tinker Rockets. Who is this guy? 
He's Whisper. We talked about this. It is Whisper. It is. And, but his play is loud. Tomato has oh, been like, no. how did that happen? And the deny. Oh, brutal. And the tip. What's worse, do you think, dying in that position or being tipped? Probably being tipped, and uh, he responds by tipping back, which means that you can tell he got annoyed. You That's don't true. tip back if you don't get annoyed. That's true. What do you think the best way to respond to offensive tipping is? Uh, what is the best way to respond? Kill them. Okay, and then in the game. Back. In the game. Okay, that's good to clarify. Envy, the tree. Oh, and the tip the before. Tip. Wow, that is impressive. That is impressive, Pepita. That's that's points for style right there. He's got a shadow blade. Oh, Ooh, ran to the vision of that sentry just to the upright. Oh, the toss in though. He's got the a axe. He's, he doesn't have an axe yet. <laughs> he said it's the buddy system. One of my favorite combinations through Han and Dota, the tiny and the shaker. You just toss them in. It's in like, the good old days, it was tiny and techies. Yeah. The DIY blink dagger. Oh. Disrupt. Any follow up? Maybe. The tip comes in. When is it? Oh. Just before. Just before. Well, that's beautiful. That's beautiful. That's that's the play of the day already. Oh, really no. See the rest of the game. Envy, will you commit yeah, eight here? Silence. Well played for Moose. Can they, they kill finish oh. him off the rocket to finish? Necro TP's in. Limp on the side. RP? Blinks in. Big RP on two. Will he hit the skewers? The question. He skewers him up to the left. Necro Scythe will finish off Schofield. In the meantime, Pepita on the retreat. He does have the blink if he can get it off. And two, one, auto attack. And I believe that will be enough. A double kill for Snake King. A two for one special. But they do get Eternal Envy, the captain of complexity. So in some ways, that may still be a win. One officer is worth the life of any two privates. Am I right? Yeah, and we see there it's, it's minute 19. Earthshaker's is bored, and he's dead for 60 seconds. Is that balanced? I don't think so. I feel like the Necro Scythe should scale like it used to, instead of being 30 seconds death timer at every level. It isn't, though. They yeah, changed that. It's 15, 30, 45. That's good that you know that, because that was a test. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I passed it. They should nerf it a little bit more, though. I agree. What do you think it should be? 10, 20, 30. Or even less. How about just 0, 5, 10? Reduce this, the spawn timer. Increase the damage. Yeah. It is kind of a crazy mechanic if you think about it. Necrophos really has six abilities. Like, your Q also gives you regen. Your W slows and gives regen, extra regen. Your E is just a free, you know, percent based damage. Then your ulti not only does the damage, but it's got this weird mechanic. Remember when Ag's ult Radiant's used to just prevent buyback? Yeah, that, that was, was not balanced. Radiant's that was not balanced. Or that late game and just auto one. Good times. Icefark knows what he's doing. Shouldn't question him. I'm sure we'll see that in the 720. That's coming after the major. I got confirming confirmation. There we oh, go. It's hard. He doesn't give the toss back. Oh, oh hit the, the tower. Well played. There's a Yule's up on the Necro though. The monkey's coming. Be no, for the no global silence. They have essentially they know monkeys here. And the Tinker Rockets comes out. Can't find into this. They might turn. The toss back onto the shaker. He can throw friends in. He can throw enemies out right on top of Schofield. Nice combo there from Pepita. RP down bottom. They get to find onto the PL. Disruptor up on top. That is an easy, breezy kill from Limp. He's got the hood of Defiance picked up on top of the Blink Dagger. But at the same time, complexity. They still don't have any towers, Bulldog. Is that OK? It is not OK. But how did they push? I don't know. What's that lead? Is that five still? It is still five. It's all in this Tinker. He's actually playing out of his mind. And we see the Rush Dagon five? I feel like the Dagon one and even... Wow, he has Dagon three already? Goodness gracious. That is a very manly build. That is... He has hair on his chest. And he probably needs... One of those guys that has such a luxurious beard, he needs to buy oil for it. You know that? what I'm talking about? Yeah. I use it. I use it. Yeah, it works out this game because you got the global silence to play around, which really uh, makes you really safe in the fights. So you can just go that build. Radiance middle tower is and we should have Dagger on Earthshaker as well soon. So he's got that 
Frontline does have it now. It just, it feels like it's so much easier for Infamous to find pickoffs and fights fallen. nowadays. I mean, the Monkey King is huge, but a Manta? A man? Is that the item? Manta? Does that really help a lot this game? There's it, a lot of AOE and Earthshaker as well. It's good against the Silence Ralts. You do want to have a Manta BKB carry, but at the same time, don't you think you want to BKB first off? Repeat getting initiated on Silence on top. They aren't going to be able to get the Strupter ult off. Snaking dies without casting an ability. Whisper now blinking away. Still has enough mana. Limp is going to miss the skewer. You have Strupter here to potentially land a glimpse. Skimbler cancels the ultimate. In the meantime, Envy dives in, drops off a couple spirits, casts the Sunray. Limp haste it up. Looks like they'll be able to pick off Schofield. Skem with the nice last hit from afar. Slamming him with the staff. Yeah, I don't know about this, Manta. Uh, you can just go to BKB. Uh, what happened to Sanchi Yasha? I don't... That item's amazing. Is it? I feel like you have Shadow Blade and Echo. You can't afford to get, like, another third build-up item. Yeah, maybe not. I, I just feel like you want BKB, MKB in this sort of game. Like, you always need an MKB playing against Tinker. BKB is quite nice for obvious reasons. You pretty much prevent all of Infamous's damage output. And big concern, though, even though this has been an incredible game thus far from the Whisper Tinker, his Tomato Phantom Lancer is just still not in this game at all. He's going to finish a Manta style, but at the same time, I mean, at the same, he's really not that far behind. It just looks that way because Skemberloo is 6k ahead of him. Yeah, the other two support, of course, on Complex is struggling to get in gank. Finally, they're moving out on the map. Envy. Oh! The RP on two. Will they have the follow-up in time? They get the silence on top, and the egg will explode. Everyone is dead. Shaker PL in the grave. Oh, in the meantime, Pepita. That's Roche if they get it. Pepita's going to chase, get chased away. He's got Shadow Blade up in 10. Blink if he can get it off, but it does not look like it'll be possible. The nice. side. Oh, the balance. 80 seconds, no buyback. Can he even kill Roche against a Tinker? I think you can. You still have Monkey King ult, and he's very threatened because, I mean, he has no Yules or anything in the meantime. Wow, Whisper kills Envy on the top side. Well played by him. Snaking now, chasing moves, but I don't even know if this kill is worth it, Bulldog. Don't they want to just be inside Roche right now? You can see the pings coming out from Skem. He knows what's up, but his teammates are bloodthirsty. They continue to chase down Moose. TP coming back in from the Tinker. Here's Schofield as well. He has the Echo. He has the Echo. Oh. Hold he up. He doesn't get the Echo off. He had no mana. He had mana, he had plenty mana. mana. What the hell? Well, Tinker was ready as well. Very questionable. Who's playing that? Schofield? More like Shitfield. <laughs> I'm kidding, he's very good. He's been a very good player. <clears throat> Just so you know. But he definitely could have, maybe it was the path thing. I mean, it felt like he was definitely in position to just ult there and follow up with a, a W. And he, Tinker was also, there was yeah. two kills probably. Or at least one, but again, the complexity, you just go around for the kills and it's something we see uh, not that good players do. You need objectives in Dota. Yeah. You need to kill objectives. They haven't they haven't killed the tower still, Bulldog. I think the mid maybe. They got the mid at least. That's uh, something. Another test. Well done. Yeah. Our observers are on point. It's put on those glasses. Kaya finished on Tigger. He's going for the full raw DPS build. He is taking supplements and he is ready to rock and rumble. Nothing better than raw damage. Yul's picked up on Limp. He's going to go for the Shivas next. I really like that decision. I think when you're playing against Tinker, you always need a Shivas, um, especially on one of your Blink heroes, just so you can find him. They do find Snake King. He's going to get tossed uh -oh. away. Silence Ralty on top of Pepita is in a little bit of trouble. He's going to get skewered back. Scythe again. Well. Oh, no, he doesn't have it. He wants to go more. Never mind. Monkey King ult on top. Egg used as well. Moose trying to run away. There's the glimpse, though, from Z-Freak. Well played. He's going to go down. But complexity, you still kind of want an objective off of this, I do believe. Yeah, Peel is farming. He's slowly climbing. Tinker is... Has Tinker even died this game? That guy's been on fire. He did die once. Six and one. Yeah, he's doing a good job. And I feel like we haven't seen Tomato for the last 15 minutes. He's still just continuing to farm. I think his timing is the defusal for a fight and then heart to close, but Aegis is becoming a more and more important priority for complexity. You want to be going high ground, I think, in this game before the 40, 50 minute mark. Doesn't Tinker PL just reign supreme in a game that goes late? They do, but the way complexity has been playing, they're just increasing on that goal lead, and if they just keep this up, 20k, 25k, it doesn't really matter what you play against. If you have that kind of lead and keep it up, the game should be in the bag. 
But at the same time, yeah, their gold lead is increasing, but the percentage, like, it kind of needs to because as the game continues, that static advantage becomes less and less of a percent of the total net worth. Do you Advanced get what I'm saying? Maths. Yeah. I understand. I majored in it. Yeah, you can see here another initiation. The egg baiting in the shaker. The nice RP from Limp. Skewer back. They blow everything, but they do ensure those two kills. But Uncle Peter as well getting caught on the side. We can see in our picture in picture. Envy waiting in the trees, backing up his necrophos as Snaking goes to shove top wave, who has completed a radiance. So that will drastically accelerate his farm. You can see Heart next up for him, BKB for Skemberloo. He should have that completed. It looks like he's gonna just finish that off. And maybe look for a fight, an objective, getting something done around the map. Here's the smoke move, but they have no BKB on Skem. I'm just kidding, he was Shadow Blade. That's right. And we see this Monkey King with this Empower. He's already level 21. And Monkey King has one of the uh, better 25 talents, the AOE, and Tiny's dying over and over. Or is he? Silence comes out, the Yules, though. Look at the damage from Tinker, however. The Monkey King ult's gonna come out. They get the scythe off on a Papiti. He's gonna go down, but here's Tinker. He's in the midst of the fray, oh. casting somebody's ult. He's oh, so out of position. Up. He gets silenced. Egg on top. Whisper, my man. What is you doing, baby? The, oh, the sick skewer from Limp. That's gonna be a free kill on Tomato. Envy dives forward. Moose is looking to go down as well. There was a buyback from Papita, but he can't get back into the fight. Shaker, Schofield forced to port out as well. Limp. That is costly. Oh, gets the, oh. This is a kill. They have a glimpse. Is it though? Man, you couldn't do that if you were playing Ogre, Z-Freak. Excellent job. You're gonna get another exit kill. Skemberloo gonna leap in. He's gonna cast his, whatever it's called, the Cane of Doom. And what was that Tinker doing there? I, I he must have no misclicked idea. that blink going into the fight. I mean, it looked kind of good if he just blinked out, but he just blinked right in there. He did it twice. He refreshed, like, blinked even closer. Yeah, so it's... Uh, <laughs> and that was a buyback on Tiny as well, so... Uh, in essence, uh, the entire team died there. That was a team wipe, and no one lost on complexity, I believe. So it doesn't really matter what heroes Infamous have if they just keep dying. Yeah. And uh, they did get objective this time around. Got two towers top, finally. Yeah, in the meantime, Tomato's still trying to recover, but it just feels like his whole game. What, is he 0-5 and 0? Yep. Oof. 0 5 zero. It's my carry every game I play pub. Could be an interesting move from Complexity. They're coming in bottom. The dive through. Does Envy have egg? He's catching a lot of rockets. He's in some trouble. In the meantime, Z-Freak going down as well. The rocket. Auto damage. The rocket's on its way. Will it be enough? No. Oh, so close. A very interesting maneuver from Complexity. That was a, an aggressive location to make plays. They were underneath the wards placed by the... Uh, Raiding here as they teleported in. Necro in a little bit of trouble. This is a defusal PL. This is a different story nowadays. Look at Tinker. PL's in so much trouble. The blink gets from Tinker to finish. What is Snaking doing down there? They're gonna find the mag. Will he be able to get the blink out? Yes, he is. As the Dagon lands. Wow, save wow. Ray, blink away. But in the meantime, what the hell is going Who's on? That? They find Limp gets the RP up at the silence. BKB from Skem, he'll get his ultimate off, healing up flanks the life skill. Envy, he's bought back. No, just kidding, he never died. He found the Tinker. Yules as well. Tinker's gonna go down. Whisper's dead. Triple for cool dot scam dot Jackie Mao. Perfect procedure. All on enemy they're just going in. Definitely. And still the Monkey King is we talked about like how hard it's gonna be to push high ground, but if you have Monkey King level 25, you just ult and you just you can't contest that. Do they even have a pipe on the side of complexity? You can push with that. Uh Limp's got a hood. Yep, they have another hood as well. Oh no, wow. Uh, where is Snakey? So yeah, Snakey has a hood too, and you got a cloak on Disruptor. So the team definitely understands, look, our main threat here is magical damage, but wow, that could have turned very poorly for Cole if Radiant the Tinker was not once again out of position. That oh, silence no. after the BK, or before the BKB, but just barely Envy is the trouble. He's gonna get tossed, free toss, get wrecked. Envy's got 10k net force. He's more net force than the tiny. What the hell? GPM talents. How do you feel about GPM talents? I don't mind them, but I feel a lot of them are unfair compared to certain heroes. Yeah. You know, this whole fight is different. If if the Tinker had been able to get the Dagon off on the Monkey King as he was up in the air, I think he might just go down. That's a Dagon level four, I believe, with a Kaya. That's a lot of damage output. Only going level four. I don't think his team is ready for level five. No, I don't think his team is ready for anything. The PL has still just been hitting creep all games.
I don't know if that works in Dota anymore. You need to have some kind of active carry that does something. So that's why we see Terrorblade a lot. You get the Metamorphosis, you go get a tower easily, or you can go into the team fight or Roche. But just it just you have options, right? You you don't if you're not joining your team, you're gonna be clearing objectives. If you are, you're gonna be a powerful force that's gonna output a ton of damage. Complexity also, I didn't realize, they cleared out that top tier too. I don't know if that was Creeps or in that initial fight a little while ago. Their next move is just going to be secure the Aegis. You've got Monkey level 25 in just a moment. Um, and level uh, 20 Phoenix with that. Yeah, with that. Ink stun. And a Scythe of Ice. He is farmed. Very People farmed. were questioning Envy support. You were questioning it, being a Never. four. You were like, that freak is so good. Well, His that's talent's true. being wasted. And that's true. But Envy is actually performing pretty well. Yeah. I'm honestly a little bit surprised. Whoa. You didn't have faith? No, I did not have faith in Envy. Well, at least you're honest. Smoke coming out, however. You see the line drawn. Complexity. They know we have a Hex. We have level 25 Monkey King. It's time to make some moves. Limp going to lead the charge. He's got the Shivas to find vision if they go up the enemy high ground. In the meantime, Infamous, they're all set up up top, but they're going to show. Complexity on the hunt. They're so strong right now. You can just RP one here if you want to. Like, you're just gonna win the fight. That's like a pack of lions hunting wildebeest. Oh, the courier. He closed the gap. They're in position. He got the high ground. The glyph. Radiant disruptor behind tower. Level Step 25. Leading. Here he comes. The silver just popped. Look at Envy. He goes straight in. They get the RP right on top of the silencer. He's gonna go down immediately. Skeberlu opens up onto the shaker. He dies right away. The hex onto the tiny. The glimpse just in case. Three go down. In the meantime, where's Tomato? Oh, he's safe in the bottom lane, continuing to farm. He's going Shadowblade next item, another item that really just helps him rat and farm more creeps. What are your thoughts on that? But what is his options? Can he join these fights? No, definitely not. So he's not misplaying them. Is it his captain's fault for drafting him in a poor position? Well, that must be. Scamble with that DD. Really helps to finish off a Roshan. He can do it all by himself while Limp clears out the bottom creep waves and Snaking takes the top. Something that you like to see Complexity do. It's a tall mark of pretty much. Oh, they found the Tinker. I don't know if he'll have enough to kill him, though. Oh, uh, who's going to kill who here? Uh oh. He's going to man up here? Yeah, of course he's going to man up. He doesn't know what enemy team is. Oh, Limp? That was a very predictable maneuver, my friend. He's in trouble. The Fisher misses, but Whisper does not. Envy! He's got a sight. This might be enough if he can land the hex, but he missed the dive. Yeah. I forgot about that talent. I thought it was going to go to stun, but obviously this dive is super good against Tinker with yep. the, the hex he's got. Very smart by Envy. Oh, that third spirit would have landed. And yeah, it's a good point. I think that Complexity has done a great job of pressuring the map at all times and itemization. They don't really fear going into this part of the game, you know, mid to late transition, because they're gonna have all these tools to find the Tinker, the, the Shaker, the PL. You're gonna dive in with the Phoenix, maybe land a Hex, the Mag, just playing so aggressive. Limp has had an excellent game so far. That was his first death and really only mistake thus far in the game. And didn't even try to juke like a god. A little bit disappointing. He kind of ran the straight line. That was way less of a zigzag and more of a like a left turn with a signal from a stop sign. Yeah, and here we go. They actually want to fight now. PL is ready. Will it, will it be too late? 18k lead right now. Positioning from Skem. There's so much trouble. Look at the huge monkey king ult. The silencer comes out, but the phoenix goes down. Silencer goes down as well. In no trades. buybacks. Snaking got the BKB. The, the, the Tinker's in the middle of the fight. He goes down to the scythe and the silence. Skemberloo continues to chase. He'll find Schofield. Tomato now, all alone behind enemy lines. He's in some serious trouble. The glimpse, he tries to man to dodge it, but alas, he'll go down. Silencer buys back, but to no avail. Yeah. Peter cuts the wave. It's just too little, too late. You can't, uh, you probably need to do this a bit earlier. They tried to do it without the RP. He was dead and didn't matter. It even insta killed the Phoenix. So they're three against five and nothing matters against that Monkey King ult. And no buyback on the Tinker now. He got a little bit lucky there. The Scythe did not actually kill him. It was just barely. Courier oh. goes down. Eagle Song, and yeah. how do they defend this? I don't know if you can, Bulldog. They're going to lose at least the one Rax. Uh, they can't take mid because the tier two tower is still alive. They could theoretically go all the way up to top. Gem picked up on Schofield, but that seems a bit too little too late. Not really able to acquire map control in a game like this anymore. 
And they just keep going. You know, if they if it was a buyback, they would use it. And they're so strong. Look at this play. Oh. Yep. I, you I'm know, looking. Thinking about it, I really like the Yules on uh, on Limp. Just because you can set up with the skewers so easily. When you're playing with Monkey King and a Disruptor, if you can just buy time and space, it makes it so easy for your heroes to support you and find and put those pickups, find those kills. Yeah. More, he's got the pipe as well. Very utility style mag. Wait, Tomato, is that where you want to be? That's that's the middle of the Monkey King. All BKB from RP. fast fingers. That's a dead, uh, that's a dead tiny. He's got no buyback. You can't skewer him into that. Okay. I didn't know that either. Tomato dead as well. Looks pretty over. Look, Envy's in. Envy. Envy's in. RP's up. Oh no. Envy's out. The dunk. Limp's gonna yule the silencer, but in the meantime, Tinker's got a hex as well. Now Skemberloo, he's chasing the silence now. The hex onto Skemberloo. Tinker's gotta get back to base. Skemberloo in a bit of trouble. He's gonna hate, he's gonna shadow blade away. Another hex coming out. Looks like Snaking might be going down next, and yes, he is. Whisper finding two kills for their two racks. Limp in some trouble. Uh, Tomato chasing the blink away. Yeah, you see that a little bit overconfidence. See it a lot, but does it matter in a Skemberloo game like got this? got pinged out. They know he's there. He's gonna try and cast the TP. They know. Oh, ho, ho, ho. and they managed to get the Magnus all four dead. Okay. But yeah, it feels uh, like it's not really going to matter. I think complexity, they don't need to play safe here. Uh, they might just wait for Roche, but I think they can just go top. Yeah. They're so far ahead. Tiny, it's not really a threat anymore. He's not progressed his item at all. Yeah, you need... You need pickoffs if you're infamous. It's a very difficult game for you if you take a head-on team fight because complexity has multiple methods of BKB piercing disable. You can have the RP, the egg stun. Tinker, even though he's going for that BKB next item, don't know if it's going to help him too much because he's just going to get targeted by that RP. Yeah, for and, sure. And if I'm not mistaken, I think um, Skewer after a Yul's functions like Marana Arrow in that if you time it properly, you cannot BKB before it hits you because it's like you sort of drop down into the ability. So there isn't a frame for you to get that BKB off. Can yeah. you confirm? I confirm, but I can't confirm for sure. Okay. But I confirm anyway. A soft confirm. Soft. Real soft. And uh, talking about the Magnus again. Oh, before that, Envy with the Mega Range. Hex into Yules. Oh my goodness. Oh. Holy crap, the butterfly now on Scamberloo. He wasn't even empowered for that. And you can see the damage output. This kid is packing a punch. That's a, that's a good kill. No buyback now, so uh, complexity really should force the issue. And uh, we got a nullify on Tiny. You see uh, some desperate build here. Trying something different. It's a cool play. Complexity just going to invade the base and look to go for Megas. Just end it. Yeah, this is how you play against the Tinker, though. You want to get into base and prevent him from setting up, getting a ton of spells off from max range. Skemberloo, does he still have Aegis? No, he doesn't, but it doesn't matter because you're still so far ahead. You just have to find this Tinker. He's the only threat. From the back line, though, Schofield coming in. Envy, though, he finds the Tinker. He pops the egg as well. Looks like it's just buying time. He's going to cancel the blink. In the meantime, Skemberloo, he takes out the Tier 3 tower. The Rax under assault as well. That's the melee Rax. Here comes Schofield, but he's going to get Yules. In the meantime, Skemberloo still looking on that range Rax. Mega Creep secured Schofield in no man's land. Silence comes out, but they still have all their BKBs. The Nullifier on the Magnus. Limp's in a lot of trouble. He's going to get tossed up as well, but that means will he be able to follow up with another Hex? Skemberloo, oh my god, just obliterating the entire infamous lineup after taking out their base. Buyback on Tinker. GG. Easy. RP. The sight. 170 seconds. 170 seconds. That yeah, pretty clean game by Complexity. So there's a few hiccups a little bit there in the around 20 minutes where they got a lot of kills on snaking, but looked pretty clean and easy for me, honestly. Yeah, that uh, was pretty peaceful. Um, what do you think the keys for Infamous are if they want to get back into this? And what do you think Complexity did right? I, I feel something I talk a lot about is the laning phase a lot. You can't have your peel laning against the Monkey King and...